been reluctant to um, to cover this, given the uh, severity of the uh, situation. But nevertheless, here we go. No intro, just Brady McKenzie here. A few days ago, uh, the gaming community were rocked by a horrific incident in Jacksonville, Florida. And sadly, two people were killed in this horrific incident. The reason why I mention gaming community is because of um, the fact that the shooting took place at at a video games tournament. The location was the GLF, the GLA, GLHF in Florida, or in Jacksonville, Florida, I mean. I mean, I'm sorry, but <clears throat> it's bad enough when you have mass shootings at a school, but at a gaming competition. In shock and surprise, Fox News right out of the gate blaming violent video games. There's always one that blames violent video games for this sort of thing. When research has clearly shown that violent video games have the exact opposite effect. And then the worst part about it was that he specific the person who I'm not going to name I'm not going to be calling out any names here But the person that carried out these shootings specifically targeted the gamers that were taking part in the competition. It was a, it was a qualifying tournament with the opportunity of heading to Las Vegas. There were another 10 
with gunshot wounds and another with a non-gunshot related injury. The person that carried out this shooting was taking part in the tournament himself and after he lost he was clearly quite angry I mean carrying out a shooting just because you lost a game now those who know me well Know how competitive, know how competitive I can get. But this is ridiculous. Now, if this doesn't say the Second Amendment needs to be rewritten, then I don't know what does. One of my best friends I was with yesterday said that the Founding Fathers need to revisit the amendments every 25 years and amend them if necessary. But that hasn't happened. They amended part of the Second Amendment, but not the entire thing. If you're gonna amend, if you're gonna amend an amendment, fix the whole thing, not just pick pit bits and pieces of it. As much as I hate to, as much as I hate to bash EA on their business practices, this is what I've, this is what I'm, this is what I've, um, this is what they uh, posted just in the early hours of this morning. Jacksonville Tribute funded live stream. This is the article I've got. EA pledges $1 million to Jacksonville shooting victims and announces a live stream. The initiative is about uniting in place the sub headline. This is by Emma Kent from Eurogamer. This is what the article says. EA has announced a fund initiative to aid the families of the victims of last Sunday's shooting at a Madden tournament in Jacksonville, Florida. The initiative called the Jacksonville Tribute includes a donation of $1 million to support the victims of the attack. Beyond this, EA will also establish a fund to allow others to contribute to their donation. The proceeds of, the proceeds of which will go to those injured in the shooting along with the families of the victims. Taylor Robertson and Elijah Clayton. Those are the guys that we lost on Sunday night. What I meant to say was, as far as not throwing names is concerned, I wasn't going to be naming the shooter because that's just... It's just not right. The third part of the Jacksonville tribute entails a live stream which will take place on Sunday, uh, on Thursday, September 6th. We've heard from so many of you that you would like to support the victims and to show that the, the horrific event will not define us, but only serve to make our community stronger. EA stated, the publisher said the live stream is about bringing the gaming community together and uniting in play. More details about the live stream are due to be released soon. This is what we've, this is what the, uh, this is what the Twitter, this is what the Twitter post said. The events of last weekend in Jacksonville will impact the gaming community forever. We can't begin to understand the pain so many are going through, nor do we pretend to have all the answers that will help us through the healing process. But as is so often the case, our community inspires us. 
the way you are the way you are coming together and the outpouring support for all those affected by this tragedy is incredibly uplifting we want to join you so today we are establishing the jacksonville tribute first we're making a one million dollar contribution to support the victims of last sunday's event we're also working to set up a fund where others can contribute alongside our donation and we will come back very soon with further details contributions will go to the victims including the families of taylor robertson Il elijah clayton and all those who were affected we would also like to help by bringing the gaming community together and uniting in play through the jacksonville tribute live stream next thursday september 6th we've heard from so many of you that you would like to support the victims and to show that this horrific event will not define us but only serve to make our community stronger we're already working with many of you to help make this happen through the live stream. We'll, we'll share more details very soon. Last Sunday's shooting saw two professional Madden players lose their lives and 10 others sustain injuries after a competitor turned a gun on attendees at a Madden NFL 19 tournament. Since the tragedy, since the tragedy occurred, professional gamers, streamers and developers have voiced support for the victims on social media. The event has also raised questions about security at esports events and forms the latest chapter in the ongoing American gun control debate. And what EA have also done is that they've cancelled the remaining Madden tournaments to review safety protocols after what happened. At the end of the day, I was going to have a reaction up on my channel yesterday, but after the events of what happened, I decided against it because it's a case of working out where to go from here as far as, well, I mean, I, mean, I want to show my support to these guys as well. As much as I don't like EA's business practices, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing my part to support, pe support people, support, uh, support. Um, I'm going to be doing my part to support those affected. So what I'm going to be doing is in FIFA 18. Haven't played, haven't played a, haven't played any sports game since FIFA 17. I said I wasn't gonna be. I said I wasn't gonna be. Playing any EA sports games anymore because of their business practices, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the journey mode in FIFA 18 next week on Thursday in place of Throwback Thursdays. There'll be no Throwback Thursdays next week, guys. Because I'm going to be joining in on this live stream. I'm going to be uh, doing my own live stream on this channel. And I'll be doing not just the journey mode, but a race to Division 1 as well. Nobody should ever have to go through something like this. And like I said, it's bad enough when you've got a school shooting. But at an eSports event, 
where you'd think there'd be strong security. Obviously not the case. There won't be any podcast tomorrow either. But Tom and Jerry and Formula One will still be going ahead as planned. You'll still get Tom and Jerry on Saturday. You'll still get F1 on Sunday. And there's no throwback Thursday today either because of this. Normal business will resume on Saturday with Tom and Jerry and F1 on Sunday. If you guys are able to join in and watch the stream with me I'd really appreciate that because there's at the end of the day All you can really hope for is that things will get better. But the truth, but the re but the truth of it is, unless something's done about this gun, about America's gun control, we have to continue living in a world where these shootings could happen at any moment. I'll see you guys on Saturday for Tom and Jerry since.